Max had matching trunks. Cole was so happy. He says, well, I got some for you. We got matching jackets. And then Cole says, I got one more surprise, but you got to wait and see. And so they leave, and Roderick Strong shows up, and Rene wants to interview him, but he doesn't want to talk and is quite irritated. Poor Roddy. So then we had Sammy and Daniel Garcia versus MGF and Adam Cole blind eliminator finals. And uh, I'm going to throw this to you to tell me what this was like in the building because, my God, on television, this was just incredible, absolutely incredible. It was awesome. Yeah, the whole thing. The the And one thing you were talking about earlier with the Kowloon segment, in the building, those segments are really hard to hear, right? And so it's important, I guess, if you're trying to get a big reaction in the building with videos, they really have to be very visual, right? And that luckily the spicy wings and all that, people can kind of get it. But in terms of like what they were saying, it was tough to hear. With the, um, you know, with the exchange of the, the jackets and the trunks, that was like people loved that. And then when they came out, people are just like overjoyed. Like it's, you don't see this a lot now. They're just legitimately like excited for a, a baby face team. And you've mentioned this before, like there's just, baby faces are really tough to come by. They have some here, which is really crazy. And they kind of know where it's heading. And I know you don't want to go where it's heading, at least not right now. But this was, this whole thing worked up until, I mean, right through the double clothesline spot, this was this was really A plus stuff from start to finish. It was very, very WWE feel in terms of very sports entertainment feel. If you can kind of steal that phrase, but it was it was really excellent and well done. The dance thing I thought was for every people just loved it, and that was that's a great thing to see when people are into something like that. You know, Sammy Guevara and Daniel Garcia, MGF, Adam Cole. It was a uh, as noted total. I mean, even Chris Jericho said. Like, the announcer was like, what is this? And Jericho goes, it's sports entertainment. And it was. And uh, we're going to get the quarters, I'm sure, later on. But I am fascinated to see how this this did because it was a total WWE-style sports entertainment match. And not even that. It was like it was also like a, a an indie match. But they ate it up. Back in a moment to talk about that more, Observer Live. Back in the show, Brian Elber is here, Wrestling Observer Live. Josh Nason. So the Blind Eliminator Finals, MJF and uh, Adam Cole won when they hit the double clothesline. And the crowd ate up every last single thing they did. They ate up the dance-off. They ate up the, the preposterous heat at MJF's ridiculous hot tag. They ate up the big comeback. They ate up the double clothesline for the finish. And then afterwards, they got into an argument because Adam Cole was looking at that belt with lust in his eyes. And MJF caught him. Adam Cole insisted, I'm just I'm just handing you the belt. That's all I'm doing here. We gotta win these tag titles together. And like the fans you know, the the key to all of this is that when they kept when they went back to teasing the two of them against each other for the title, the fans hijacked it. Like they immediately started screaming, hug it out. And then when they hugged it out, they went absolutely insane. Because what's happening is the crowd is telling you what they want to see right now. And what they want to see right now is not MJF versus Adam Cole for the title. It is MJF versus Ad and Adam Cole as a tag team going up against FTR for the tag team titles. And, you know, if I had, if I had to bet money on it, like $100, $100 that in two weeks FTR beats them and they split up and they do whatever they're going to do leading to Wembley. $100 are going to do that. I'd pay you $500 for them not to do that, okay? Because the fans, this is this is exactly, exactly like when MJF came back over the summer and everybody wanted him to be a babyface, but they had a plan and they stuck with the plan. And it's going to be the exact same thing here. I'll put my $100 bet against whoever. They're going to stick to their plan and they're going to split them up. And to me, you know, one of the reasons that this whole thing is fake is because you do not have to stick with the plan this is not ufc this is not legitimate matchmaking it's all pretend if something gets over you can go with it and you know throughout the history of aw i mean name a time where something has gotten over and they've really ran with it. I'm not talking like, you know, the fans locally like Sky Blue, and so they gave her a couple of wins, and then she went back to wherever she... I'm talking, you changed a long-term plan because the fans were telling you they wanted to see something else. When has that ever happened? And to me, it shouldn't happen all the time, 
but it needs to happen more. And this is an example of that. And I'm not saying it needs to go a year, but it's clearly, clearly too early to break them up in two weeks. If you want to run this the next two weeks and have FTR lose the tag team titles to them and then book a rematch for Wembley where it is MJF and Adam Cole versus FTR for the tag team titles. FTR wins them back at the end of August and the split happens there and you have a championship match scheduled for uh, for All Out. I'm fine with that, okay? I don't want to hear that you can't have the world champion wrestling in the... Uh, you can't have a you know the world champion not wrestling a championship match, a singles championship match. It's not real. It's pretend, okay? I don't think that you should necessarily do everything that WWE does, but you can learn from WWE. And what we have learned is Roman Reigns doesn't need to be defending the world title to be the biggest ratings mover on the show. He can be in a tag team feud. And you can do the exact same thing with MGF if that's what the fans want. And that is what they want. It's going to be a good test to see if Tony Khan has learned the lessons and studied and things like that forever because we've been told the AEW is different and they did different booking. They're an alternative, a challenger brand. This would be a good example of that because everyone thinks what they see is the obvious turn coming. But maybe, maybe we haven't. Maybe there's been a change of plans. And people really love babyface MJF which leads to one point before we get to the rest of the show. I think, I don't know if MJF is legitimately a free agent in 2024, but I think this whole angle, this whole buildup and all the stuff with Adam Cole, I think it has only elevated his stature more in that he can do the sports entertainment stuff and everything. This is almost like a, I don't say an audition because his career is kind of an audition, but I think this has really showed that if you think that his act wouldn't work in WWE, and they couldn't adjust or do things, you're wrong. He can. And this is I've, this has been a lot of fun, very WWE-like, and I'm really interested to see where it goes. And, yeah, to your point, I hope I hope, I hope, hope they go the way we don't think it's going to go, at least for the time being. I think I like your plan. We had a meeting with the best friends, Darby and Nick Wayne, and uh, basically it's going to be uh, Orange Cassidy defending against A.R. Fox as a favor, a favor <laughs> for Darby Allen next week. <laughs> the eternal title challenger, but he never gets a win. I like this storyline he's got. I never win anything ever, but I constantly get championship matches. It's a great way to live. Lose and get opportunities, you know? Hey, guys, did you love this clip? If so, you should join our channel. Just hit the Join button, and you'll have full access to every single show that we do. Wrestling Observer Live, Wrestling Observer Radio, The Brian and Vinny Show, all of them in full HD, full length, plus archives of all of your favorite shows. Click join today and don't miss out.